Hi everyone, my name is Dennis Burgess, Realtor and Property Manager with Total Realty Corp here in Sanford, Florida. I'm continuing my series of frequently asked questions, uh, ones I receive from owners, tenants, tenant prospects, fellow realtors uh, over the years. And today's question deals with the issue of pets. Uh, from an owner's perspective, should I allow pets? Well, when we market a property for rent, we can either market it as pets yes, pets no, pets maybe. Obviously, pets yes, meaning that uh, owner would be willing to accept uh, all pets, dogs and cats, uh, provided that any uh, homeowner association restrictions are um, met, not exceeded in terms of weight or quantity of pets, and uh, anything else is met. You know, an owner may prescribe their own weight limit. We can also advertise as pets no, meaning no pets allowed, no exceptions, not one, not none. Or third option, we can advertise as pets maybe. Now that gives an owner the best of both worlds, so to speak, because it gives the tenant prospects hope that little Fluffy or even Killer could be accepted and they'll you know, consequently they'll look at your ads the ads for your property and consider it uh, give us a call take a look at the property and everything versus um, just skipping over the property if you advertise pets no chances are 75 percent of the rent in public won't even see your ad so uh, that's a bad thing but um, you advertise as pets maybe um, pets negotiable that gives you uh, the option to allow pets or decline them on a case-by-case -case basis. So that's my suggestion to you. Again, Orlando Realtor, Property Manager Dennis Burgess, Total Realty Corp here in Sanford, Florida. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. God bless you.